Hi, this is Mr. Touch, college counselor at George Washington High School. I'm here to conduct the presentation to let you know um, things you need to do to prepare yourself for senior year. So the first thing I want to talk about is the application process. So you are aware of the timeline. So in senior year, you will apply to colleges and also apply for financial aid. So in August, um, the UCs, private colleges, and some out-of-state public universities, their application will open. So you could start as early as August. For the California State University, like San Jose State, um, their application will open October 1st. And when you are starting the application, you will be selecting the fall 2022 year. Um, that will be the year you will be a freshman in college. In terms of deadlines, um, when you apply, um, they will let you know when the deadline is. For the UCs and CSU, um, the deadline is November 30th. In the last year, because of the pandemic, they did extend it. But in terms of, for you, um, in terms of like managing your time, I would recommend setting it as November 30th or maybe even November 15th. So that way, you get everything done, get it out of the way, and move on to the next step. And when you're applying to colleges, you might want to think about early action and early decision. Okay, so early action and early decision is really good if you have a high GPA. It means that you apply earlier and you receive an admission offer earlier. A lot of colleges do accept, um, give a lot of acceptances to students that fit their profile um, through the early action, early decision application. So early action is non-binding, meaning you apply early, but if you get accepted, you do not have to go. But early decision, you could only early decision to one school because if you get accepted, it is binding and you do have to go to that college, okay? So make sure you research and know for sure that if you do decide an early decision, that it is the college of your choice, that if you get accepted, it's binding that you ha do have to attend. Okay, so that is what the application process. The next thing um, that you will apply to after you're done with your college application would be your financial aid application. That opens in October 1st, um, and you will be applying for the 2022 to 2023 application. So the deadline is March 2nd of 2022, but I highly recommend that you do it immediately after you're done with your college application. So when you're applying to college, what are some things that you need? Um, the first thing is a professional email account. So I do recommend Gmail. Um, so a professional email account would be your name and your last name. If that is taken, you could add some numbers. Okay, because um, keep in mind that colleges are looking for you know something professional. They will also look into your social media account. So maybe you want to put those on private so that way they cannot see things you don't want to be shared. So it's always a good idea to Google yourself, your name, and see what pops up. Other things you need for college application is letters of recommendation. Okay, so they're required for UCs and private schools. So usually minimum one teacher recommendation and then one counselor recommendation. You will also have to write essays um, for the UCs and private schools. You will need your transcript. So you now have access to your transcript on the Student View app or online to have your transcript so you could report um, the courses correctly. Then you will have to declare a major Okay, so that is what you want to study while you're in college. And then the last thing you need is money to pay for the fee. Okay, so it's pretty pricey. Um, last year, it was $70 per application um, for the CSU and the UC. Um, private schools, it varies. It could be $50, maybe $100. So keep that in mind. Per school, it's anywhere from $50 to $100. Um, there are fee waivers available for qualified students. So if you qualify, then those applications would be free. And then I want you to consider community college. So it's low cost.
for City College, the tuition is free. There's no GPA requirement. It's 100% acceptance. And then after two years of completing your general education courses, then you can transfer to a four-year university to finish off your junior and senior year. So you could graduate with a bachelor's degree. So it is, it does save you a lot of money. Um, the other thing is you could also complete certificate programs for career technical education, for example, real estate, chef, mechanic, welder. So there are certain professions where you do not need a bachelor's degree and you could just go to a community college to earn those career technical certificates. Um, so if you want to apply to City College, the application will open in December. For other community colleges um, like Skyline or Santa Barbara or Santa Monica, usually they open mid-spring semester. So preparing for your um, senior year, I did create the Junior College Planner. So please check your email or the Google Classroom to um, select um, to have access to the College Planner. There, there are different um, sheets to help you decide on which college you want to go to, maybe what your major is. Also, there's a college list that you could put it on. It'll help you organize when the deadlines are, what is needed. Um, so make sure you do that. Also, you need to check if the SAT or ACT is required for that particular college. Keep in mind that the UC and the CSU for the class of 2022, they are not requiring the SAT or the ACT. So a lot of schools are not requiring it. Um, so make sure you research it. What you can do is just Google this college name and SAT, ACT requirements, and you will be brought to a site to let you know if they require the SAT or ACT or not. I recommend that in the summer, you start um, start writing your college essay. Um, so in the college planner, there's a link to how to write your college essay. And there's also a link to the UC prompt. Um, also, you should update your resume. In the college planner, there's a sheet that allows you to build your resume, okay? And for the remaining of the spring semester, you should continue building relationships with your teachers and counselor because you might want to ask them to write a letter of recommendation for you. So if you don't have a strong relationship with your current teachers, you might want to consider asking your sophomore um, teachers for a letter of recommendation. Um, in the summer and now, you can start exploring colleges and careers. So in the Junior College Planner, there are some worksheets, like I said, to help you explore colleges and careers. Lastly, um, something that's very important, talk to me or someone in the College Center or even your counselor to see if you are eligible to apply to colleges or do you need to do credit recovery? Maybe you need to go to summer school to make up a certain class to be college eligible. Also, you could talk about what do you need to do to make you a stronger candidate, to, so that way you can increase your chances of getting into college, okay? So once again, my name is Mr. Touch, and make sure you access the College Planner, so that way you could um, be prepared for senior year. So everything that I talked about is all in the College Planner. It is organized by spring, summer, and then it also goes into your senior year. So there's more in-depth information and a worksheet on the College Planner. So the College Planner on the bottom are different tabs. So the first one is the to-do list, and then is your college list, application plan, your extracurricular activities to help you build your resume, college essay, how to write them, brainstorming process, Letters of recommendation, more information what they're about, okay? Scholarships, so in senior year, you will also be applying for scholarships. So as you can see, there's resources on there as well. So if you have any questions, you could email me at touchc at sfusd.edu. All right, thank you so much for watching this. Take care.